Hello, I'm back with my other um, additions to the Etsy shop. Um, these are Traveler's Notebooks. They are leather covers and they have notebooks and folders, um, file folder pockets in them. So I will just go through and show you each one. There are three different sizes. We have filled notes or pocket size, um, which holds three and a half by five and a half inch notebooks. Um, personal size, which is three and three quarter by six and three quarter um, inserts. And then the standard size, which is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter inserts. So um, got all the sizes and every <laughs> and the names out of the way. I will go through and show you each one. They each have a cluster of fabrics and um, laces and uh, like burlap. This one has a crocheted uh, little applique on here. It has a brad um, in the center of the applique. There's a piece of tapestry here. It's um, got it's subtle but colorful and a piece of doily here, crochet doily on the edge, and they have all been sewn together. And then I went and hand stitched with black waxed lay, um, thread on through the leather onto the cover. So they're very sturdy. You can see on the inside the stitching. So um, they are not going to be coming off easily. They're not. It's not like glued on or anything like that. It is. It is um, a permanent fixture. <laughs> Let's just call it that. They have the five hole um, string elastics, which it which creates two strings on the inside, which you can of course put more elastics in. It has the spine elastic for the closure. This is a very dark brown. It's called um, espresso leather. Is the color. It's not black, but nearly black. Very dark. Inside is an insert. It is a mixed paper um, insert. It's very simple. I kept them simple so you can decorate them how you want to and use them how you want to. There is a um, little label stitched to the front of it, a pocket, or sorry, an envelope on the front cover, and then just a mix of coffee dyed papers. Some are patterned and some um, brown papers. Just a very simple notebook that you can use how you choose to. And that's on the first elastic here. You can see in the middle and they are pamphlet stitched. In the, on the second elastic is a file folder um, pocket insert. That's what I'm going to call it, I guess. So it this one has two, three, four, five, six pockets. Inside each pocket is a little something that you can use in your journal. Here is like a little index tab, which you can create a pocket or tuck spot or even a tip in in your journal. Here's a ticket. It says make a wish and an uh, um, sorry, a image you can also use in your journal open it again and there's a, a little tuck spot here with a tag and on this side is a little envelope which has a couple little things in it there's another little tag and a couple labels one says celebrate the everyday and the other one says little moments which you can use throughout the journal or how you choose to there are fabric pockets here with some trim stitched along the top in this one is a stamped coffee dyed paper for journaling and a tag. This was, is a cardstock tag which says what a deer on it. It's stamped on it. And that is on the second elastic here. And I notched the top um, and some of the bottoms. This one already had fabric on it so I didn't notch the bottom of that one. But I notched the top so that it wouldn't um, uh, crease or bend the top of the notebook or the folder. Sorry. <laughs> And that is the cover. It is just left plain. You can decorate it how you want to or leave it plain. You could also put this around your notebook and then have an extra elastic to add what you want to with it. It has a nice um, uh, interior. It's uh, like the fuzzy, I don't know what it's called. I can't think of it. <laughs> but like interior of leather would have. And the elastic goes on like so. 
and that is the pocket one. This is the personal size, also the same um, orientation of the elastics, also a piece of tapestry layered up with some leather and burlap, another piece of crocheted um, doily and some lace. I put another piece of um, black leather on here with the um, book plate and it has a tag in here which, believe it or not, can be, <laughs> if, if, you, if you're careful enough, I guess, or persistent enough, you can take out and you can write on that or you can um, turn it over or what have you. You can change the title. Inside is the same notebook with the title, same kind, just a different size, envelope and similar papers. This one has a pocket stitched into it. They're very, um, all of the co colors are neutral, browns, blacks, um, things of that nature. Let's the other pocket. That way it can be used for anything. This file folder has um, some vintage wallpaper stitched to the front cover and it wraps around to the back. Inside we have a small pocket here with a tag. A little secretarial pocket here with some papers for collage or to add to your journaling, what have you, and also the little labels in the bag. Inside we have a tuck spot here with some more images. We have, um, these are like scrap paper um, cutouts, but they have been coffee dyed. We have an image here and then a um, postcard image on the other one. Let's just tuck in here and this is um, reinforced with cardstock as well as the paper. There's a fabric pocket here with lace trim on it, another stamped um, coffee dyed paper in this pocket. The pockets that go across this way I did not attach in the middle so it is open so if you want to put a larger piece of paper in here or just fold paper and put it in there you could do that. You can fit larger papers in the pocket that way if you choose to a card for journaling or to use as a tip-in. And on this side is just a little tag for journaling with some lace stamp, um, stamping on it and a little tag that, a uh, ticket, sorry, that says love. And the inside, as you can see, this is a brown leather. It's kind of a reddish brown. It's not a true brown. And um, it's very soft. It's sturdy. It's not um, it's not floppy leather by any means. It's um, rustic. I forgot to mention on the edges. I did a minimal amount of hand burnishing just to kind of smooth out the edges and make them look a little bit more fin finished but not completely. So it is fairly rustic and rough. That's the personal size and then we have the standard size which is the same sort of leather as the personal size. It's kind of the reddish brown. has another piece of um, patterned fabric here with some crocheted doily and lace. This has a bit of green fabric which accents the green in the, um, the fabric and some more um, canvas and burlap and also it has the tag in there which can be removed and the label stitched on. You can see the stitches on the inside. The insert is the same basically, just different papers. This one has some book pages in it. it has a, a little tuck spot stitched in there. The music sheet, painted paper, You get the idea that's on that elastic. And this um, folder here has patterned paper stitched on it. And it is a little different format. It has a large pocket over here, and this is just the flap. It's like an envelope style um, pocket with the fabric and lace trim. And inside is a tag and some uh, a card for journaling and a bit of doily just to add to your journal or to decorate with however you choose to. And I left this um, with a gusset so that you can really pack that pocket if you choose to. We have a little tuck spot over here 
with a stamped piece of graph paper and I did a little bit of text stamping on the inside for journaling and a ticket Oops, this says memories and this side opens up and you have the tuck spot here with a couple of um, images to add to decorate your journal and a pocket here made of patterned paper this has the little labels in it that say the same thing as the others um, capture the moments in little <laughs> no, I don't remember what they say. Create, celebrate the everyday and little moments. Yeah. And a stamped paper, coffee dyed paper here for journaling. Oops. Maybe there we go. And that is that. There's the interior, the exterior, and I, I did um, condition the leather, and I. I rolled it to soften the leather because so that it's not real stiff. It it has kind of a it, it gives it almost a um, uh, a used sort of feel, so it's not super stiff. Um, so there they are, and they will be listed also in my Etsy today. So thanks for watching, and go give it a look if you want to. Thanks. Bye.